Are you looking for CLI access to all your resources in AWS? If so, then keep watching because I'm going to show you how to install the AWS CLI on your Mac. Coming right up. What's up guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use one of the most pivotal tools you can have in your arsenal as a cloud engineer. The AWS CLI. The AWS command line interface is a powerful tool that allows you to interact with Amazon Web Services, resources, and services directly from the command line on your Mac. With it, you can manage and automate your AWS infrastructure, configure services, and effortlessly handle various administrative tasks. So without further ado, let's install the AWS CLI on your Mac. AWS has a guide online that you can reference in case you need to. You see it right here. But to install the AWS CLI, it only takes two commands, and you can do it straight from your Mac terminal. So let's get started. Now before we begin, if you're installing this on a brand new Mac with an Apple Silicon chip such as the M1 or M2 processor, then you may be prompted to install Rosetta on your Mac first. This is a program that allows you to install applications that are built for Mac with an Intel processor on your new computer running the Apple Silicon chip. So let's go ahead and open the terminal up on your Mac. Um, I personally like to use iTerm2, which is a uh, downloadable uh, terminal program that you can install on your Mac. Um, but the same commands that we're going to run today is going to apply um, if you're just using the regular terminal. And to access the regular terminal, all you have to do is do command space and then just type in terminal and you'll see that pop up right there. Um, but like I said, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to use iTerm2 because I, I like to use it. <laughs> So we're just gonna close that out and we'll just use iTerm2 for the remainder of this. All right, so to install the AWS CLI version two, um, you just need to copy and paste two commands and I will have those commands inside the uh, description of the video. So the first one is gonna be just a curl. So we're gonna copy and paste this in here. So we're gonna download the AWS CLI version two package. Okay, it looks like it's downloaded. And the next thing we're gonna do is to go ahead and install it. So I'm gonna copy that command and paste that right here and click enter. It's gonna prompt you for your password. Type that in. Okay. Package name is AWS command line interface. And now it's installing. So now we just wait. Okay, now it's done. To verify that AWS CLI is installed, we're just going to go ahead and type in AWS dash dash version and hit enter. Now in order to utilize the AWS CLI, we need to create our AWS access key ID and secret. To do that, let's go to the AWS management console. All right, so now I have my AWS management console up. I'm going to go into search for IAM in the search bar and I'm going to click that. And I already have a user created. Um, if you don't have one uh, created, you may just need to create one. And uh, But for the purposes of, of this video, I already have it created, so I'm just gonna click that and click my username Frank. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the Security Credentials tab and go down to Access Keys and click on the Create Access Key. And we want to go ahead and select Command Line Interface and click the I Understand confirmation, click Next. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and click the create access key button here. Okay, so now you see we have the option to retrieve our access keys. You see the access key there and the access uh, secret access key is hidden. So we can just go ahead and download this uh, CSV file which is going to have the credentials in there uh, for us. So I can open up that file now and it's going to open up and it's like uh, numbers so I'm just going to keep this kind of like in the background so we can get to it in a moment um, so go ahead and click done okay so now that we have our access keys let's go ahead and configure our AWS CLI let's open up the terminal again and type in AWS space configure so open up the terminal where are you at there you are clear this out AWS space configure Hit enter. So it's asking for the AWS access key ID. So I'll go ahead and copy that from here. Copy and paste. It's going to ask for the secret access key. 
So we'll go back to that. And copy this long secret access key. Paste that. Hit enter. Okay, default region name. This is the default region that you want to operate out of. So I'm going to be out of US East 1. Uh, default output form output format is going to be uh, could be JSON or YAML. I like YAML, so I'm just going to type in YAML. But you can just hit enter to this if you want to use JSON. And boom, that's it. So now we have the AWS CLI configured. Okay, so now that we have successfully configured our AWS CLI on our Mac, so let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? First off, I'm going to run a command to see all my existing S3 buckets. So to do this, we're just going to go ahead and type AWS S3 ls and hit enter and as you can see here i don't have any uh s3 buckets so let's go ahead and create one shall we so we're going to go ahead and create a new bucket and i'm just going to copy and paste this command in here because it's really long so copy paste so we're basically going to create a bucket called network with frank and we'll hit enter okay Location network with Frank, so that means uh, it was uh, created successfully. All right, so we can do AWS S3 LS again, and we should see that network with Frank is there, and we do. That's excellent. Next, I'm going to upload a file from my Mac to my new S3 bucket. So let's go ahead and go navigate over to my desktop, and on my desktop, I have a file called testfile.txt. So I'm going to go ahead and up upload that test file.txt to uh, the network with Frank folder. So to do that, we can just type in AWS S3 CP test file.txt and S3 backslash backslash net work with Frank. Okay. So you can see uploaded the uh, test file.txt. So if we were to enter a command here, AWS S3 uh, LS, and we could type in network with Frank with a backslash, I hit enter. So you can see we have our text file.txt there, and we can just uh, verify that's there by going to S3 in the um, in the Amazon uh, management console. So just go to S3 up here, click that. Click on our network with Frank bucket and boom, there it is. We have our test file.txt uploaded to the S3 bucket uh, all through the AWS CLI. So this is great. We can now execute commands to do things in S3, but what about something a little bit more sophisticated? Okay, let's imagine it's the end of the day and you're done working on an EC2 instance and now you'd like to power it off. We can issue a command from the AWS CLI to do exactly that. So let's give it a go. First off, let's run a command to list all my EC2 instances. To do this, let's type in AWS EC2 describe dash instances. Hit enter. All right, so to go ahead and stop the instance, we're gonna go ahead and uh, copy and paste this command in here. It's a little bit lengthy, so I'm just gonna, like I said, copy and paste. It's uh, AWS EC2 space stop dash instances dash dash instance IDs, and then the actual instance ID number. So we'll click enter there. All right, so you can see from the command here that it's actually stopping the instance. We can verify this by going back into the AWS management console and just clicking the refresh button up here. And you can see that the instance is indeed stopped. This is perfect. Now, since I don't need to use this particular instance anymore, I'm going to just go ahead and terminate it by issuing the terminate instances command. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to type in AWS EC2 terminate instance is dash dash instance IDs space and I'm just going to copy and paste this last part. It's the actual instance ID. Copy. Paste. Hit enter. All right. 
Excellent. You can see that, our cur that the uh, current state is terminated. Once again, we can go ahead and verify that by going back into the AWS Management Console and click the Refresh button, and you can see is indeed terminated. So that's it for today's lesson on the AWS CLI. Today we walked through installing the AWS CLI on a Mac, configuring the AWS CLI for first use, and we also ran some commands to show you the power and capability of the AWS command line interface. And these commands are cool, but there are so many more. There are literally thousands of commands you can run for services such as EC2, CloudWatch, CodeCommit, S3, and others. For a full list of commands, I'll post a link in the video description. So now that you have your AWS CLI set up, what do you plan on using it for? Let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to check out my free ebook on cloud networking, which is also in the video description. And finally, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated when new videos come out. Until next time, friends, have a good one.